Hello friends, Pushkar here back again with another video. In this video, I will talk about my visa status that is going to expire in this year. So what are the possible options for me to continue working in United States? Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. As you know, I came to United States on L1B visa and I got my L1B visa on January 2020 and January 2020 and I was in United States. Okay. So generally L1B visa is given for three years, okay, with an extension of two years. I got my L1B visa for uh, two years, ten months, or two years, two years, eleven months. So it is going to expire by this year end. So before talking on what are the possible options for me to continue working in United States, let's talk what happens when someone's visa got expired. Okay. So when someone's visa got expired legally that person is not allowed to stay in United States of America. As per US law, any day spent without a valid visa is known as unlawful presence. So US will ban that person from re-entry into United States based on unlawful presence. And the severity of this ban will depend on the number of days as a unlawful presence. Okay, for example, if the unlawful presence is around 180 days to 365 days then the ban for re-entry is around um, three years and if the unlawful presence is more than 365 days then us will ban that person for around 10 years and that person is also not allowed to take any kind of immigration benefits like green card so now let's talk on my visa okay so my visa is going to expire i think in november okay so the possible options for me is to either file an extension for two years okay because l1b visa you can get an extension for two years okay and this uh, filing for extension should be done a six month before the uh, visa expire okay so uh, one option is to file uh, the extension for extension for l1b visa okay and the other option is so when i came to united states okay uh, amazon filed h1b visa for me Okay, and luckily I got, and luckily my H-1B visa got picked. So um, it was filed in um, February, and in August um, I got my H-1. So like on the last day of February it was filed, and in the first week of August I got it. So basically I got my H-1B visa in just four weeks. Okay, but my H-1B visa is still uh, not active. I am still on L-1B visa. Okay, and I need to get a stamp of H-1B visa from India. I came to uh, India like last year but since because of COVID the embassy and consulates were closed so I was not able to get it stamped so I continued on L1 and I moved back uh, to United States on L1 okay and I'm still on L1 but there is one more way to change your status from L1B to H1B while you are in United States and that's called change of status. So in change of status, you can change your visa status from L1B to H1B while you are in United States, okay, without going to your home country and get it stamped, okay. So you can basically uh, uh, take the benefit of the uh, new visa without getting it stamped. So since I have already got my H1B visa, okay, so the second option for me is to change my L1B visa to H1B visa through this change of status channel. Okay. So out of these two, I'm taking the second channel that is change of status from L1B to H1B because if I have the H1B, then why to, why should I go for the L1B extension? L1B extension is for two years, but in H1, I, got, I, I will get the H1 for three years and again, it has a extension possibility of another three years. So basically for next six years, okay, I will get the H1B visa with one extension, okay? So let's see what happens. Till then, take care, bye.